My name is Sergeant Joe Fink, working the 24-hour shift out of homicide. And this is my workshop, the part of town that everybody knows about but that nobody wants to see. Where the tragedies are deeper, the ecstasy is wilder, and the crime rate consistently higher than anywhere else. Skid Row, my beat. period in the history of my beat began in a little run-down floor shop called Mushnick's. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Shiva. How's things today? Oh, the same as usual, Mr. Mushnick. My sister's nurse is Stanley died in Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh, what happened? She got blown out. Who knows how? That's nice. Well, you would like maybe, as usual, some flowers for the funeral. You're all acquainted, they forgot, and never brought to mind. I thought possibly, uh, because I always give to you all my funeral business, and uh, maybe you should possibly give to me uh, a little cut rate. Look on me, Mrs. Shiver. What am I, a philatelist? I sell on Skid Row nothing but cheap carnations. And I should give you a cut rate. I can't even afford water for the flowers. To my throat, I would be giving a cut. I dreamt I dwelt in marble halls with vassals... Get up from the back! Excuse me, Mrs. Shiver, but that's Seymour. He's a nice boy. Why don't you let him see? What? See? Look, here I got a new customer. Brand new in the yellow vest. I should let the clean-up boy, but I can't even afford chase him out right away. Flower as fresh as the springtime, Mushnick. Hello. Oh, hello, Dr. Fogg. What can I do for you today? Listen, Mushnick, I haven't got much time. Send me over two gladiolas and a fern. Excellent. That's two dozen glads, one potted fern. No, 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 Mushnick. Two gladiolas and one fern. <laughs> you want I should put two gladiolas in the pot with the fern? No, one fern, one piece. Altogether, three pieces. I need it for my waiting room. Yeah, it's a filling What? A filling car. Good, I'll drill a bigger hole. You mean you want two crummy gladiolas among crummy fine? What kind of a decoration is that? This is my flower budget for the week. Mushnick. Who can be a dentist on Skid Row? All right, excellent. I'll send Seymour right away. Who am I to argue with science? Mm. Make it snappy. Now you are going to get it. Oh, you are going to get it. Look. Seymour Krellboyne? Now, Mr. Shiver, we were talking from the funeral flowers, but in the little... Oh, funeral! Did you call me, Mr. Mushnick? No. I was calling John D. Rockefeller for to make a loan on my Rolls Royce. Sorry, I said it. Now, look, Seymour. You take two gladiolas. You cut them nice and even. You'll take one coin, you'll wrap them in a package, and you'll take them to Dr. Farr. Right? Don't go already! Now, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, my name is Burson Fox. Excellent. I am Gravis Mushnick. Oh, that's a good one. Now, who's going to get my roses? I'll take care of you, Mrs. Silver. Come right over here. You would like maybe some orchids for a nice girl? No, I think I'd like a couple of dozen carnations. Oh, carnations. Okay. You can't find around these days that somebody shouldn't drop dead. You've had more than your share of bad luck, Mrs. Seva. Bad luck, she calls it. You should have so many people kicked off. You would have somebody fall on the top of you, too. What about the carnation? 
Oh, here are your carnations. Wait, I'll wrap them for no, you. That's all right, I'll leave them here. Why not? Of course, what else? They are all right? Well, I've had better. Well, this is a small shop. Oh, that's okay. You know, those big places, they're full of pretty flowers, expensive flowers. When you raise them for looks and smell, you're bound to lose some food value. I like these little out of the way places. Eating flowers. Look, don't knock it until you try it, huh? Look what happened. This is what I was trying to tell you before. Look on him, everybody. Look at the quality of his work. I ask you, when I fire him, where is he going to get such another good job? You mean I'm fired? No, I'm electing you president from the United States. Yes, you are fired. Travis, you can't do that. Who, who can? I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. You never mean it. You didn't mean it the time you put up the bouquet with the get well card in the funeral parlor and sent the black lilies to the old lady in the hospital. You didn't mean it. But this time, I, Gravis Musnik, mean it. He means it. But see, Mr. Musnick, don't I always try to do what's right? And I'm crazy about flowers. I like flowers almost as much as Audrey does. Excellent. You're fired. Why don't you give him a chance to resurrect himself? I'd give him a chance to quit. I ain't gonna quit. You're a brave boy, you're fired. But that ain't fair, Mr. Mushnick. You know what I'm doing? I'm working on a special surprise plant just for you. I'm growing a plant like you ain't never seen before. Excellent. I can't even sell the plants I got in my shop out, you. Now, wait a minute. He's got a new kind of plant you want to look at. I don't look on flowers, Mr. Yellow Vest. I got ancestors in the flower business for 200 years, but I got one shop on Skid Row, one stinking shop. I don't even like flowers. No, you don't understand what I mean. Look, I've eaten in flower shops all over the world. And I've noticed that the places that have the most weird and unusual plants do the best business. See? 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 What is this, a tango? All right. Explain me more. Well, I remember one place that had a whole wall covered with poison ivy. And people came from miles around to look at that wall, and they stayed to buy. The owner got rich. No. He scratched himself to death in an insane asylum. Oh! That was my cousin Harry. All right. All right. You go home, and you get this fancy schmancy plant, and you bring it back here. And if Mr. Yellow Vest Spout says it's a draw, you still got a job. If he don't, out you go to Bodie, right? Don't worry. You'll like it. You'll see. <laughs> K. You've been listening to Music for Old Invalids. Our next selection is entitled Sick Room Serenade. Seymour, is that you? Yeah, Ma. Hey, you're out of my tongue. But Ma, I already seen your tongue. Have you no sympathy for your poor mother? Laughing at her and mocking her illness and she's got one foot in the grave? Oh, I didn't mean it. Oh, you never mean it. Oh, come on, look at my tongue. A tongue's a tongue, Ma. They all look the same to me. Oh. Did you stop at Dr. Mallard's and get the results of my test? Yeah, he said there's nothing wrong with you. Oh, no, Dr. Mallard. He, he's one doctor I thought would tell the truth. He said you should be playing fullback for the Rams. He wants me dead. I'll bet he's assistant coroner. Well, I gotta go. I... Hey, you know, I ran in my goiters coming back. I can feel it every morning after breakfast. Yeah, that's when you take those great... Oh! What you got, a little surprise for me? Open it up and see. All right. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Dr. Slurp Saddle, famous tonic. Oh, wait here. To be taken internally or externally for pain and neuritis, neuralgia, headache. If hit by a truck, call your physician. Alcoholic contact, 98%. Oh, Seymour, you never know what this is going to do for me. 